In this demonstration, we're going to take a look at some of the basic labeling tasks that you might want to perform in ArcGIS Pro. Your basic labeling tasks are going to be accomplished through the labeling tab in ArcGIS Pro, which is initiated by first selecting a layer in the contents pane. Uh, so if I select, for example, the parcel layer, you'll notice that uh, this feature layer context menu becomes active. And uh, anytime the feature layer context menu is active, you're gonna have three additional tabs that are available to you. We have an appearance tab, a labeling tab, and a data tab. And right now I have the labeling tab as active. So this is uh, the tab that you're gonna use to do most of your basic labeling tasks. Uh, there, there are other places that you, in ArcGIS Pro, that you can go to perform other labeling tasks, but most of the basic tasks that you'll perform uh, in terms of labeling will be done from this particular tab. Now you'll see in this case, I already have uh, my parcel layer labeled. Uh, the data that we're using to label the parcel layer is gonna come from this field, which in this case is owner name. Uh, if you click the drop down, what you'll see is a list of all the attribute values that are associated with the currently selected layer, which in this case is parcels. So the text that's placed onto that map is coming directly from the field that you specify here. Uh, there are two options that you need to turn on uh, in order for labels to be visible. There's this label features in this class checkbox. You'll notice it's turned on. You'll want to make sure that's turned on in order for the labels to appear in the, in the map itself. And then there's a toggle button here called the label button. Right? And this is what enables button, enables labeling for a layer. So both of those things have to be turned on. You have to have the checkbox turned on here and you have to have the toggle button, button turned on. Now this label button is a toggle button. Anytime you see a blue background, that just is an indicator to you that that particular button is enabled at this point. Now, if I click it again, you'll notice it'll change from a blue background color to a gray color, right? See, it's gray now instead of blue. And, and in doing so, I've turned the labels off. If I wanna turn it back on, I just click the label uh, button and it will turn those back on. A Little bit of a lag time sometimes here uh, with the drawing of these labels. It's having to do that dynamically. Um, every layer has a default class called a label class. In this case, it's class one, and that's always going to be your default. It's, it's called class one. It's just the default for, uh, for the, the label class that gets uh, created alongside of a layer. But you can create multiple label classes, right? So you, there may be times when you want to define multiple label classes, and so you do have the ability to create multiple label classes. And what that allows you to do is to define multiple ways of symbolizing that layer, right? So as I zoom out or as, as I zoom in, I might want to label this layer in a completely different manner, right? I might want to change the font, might want to change the font color, might want to change how it's placed. Um, there's lots of things that we can do to, to update uh, the labels as we zoom in and zoom out. Uh, you might also do this based on some sort of SQL statement. So, you know, you might, at, at certain times, you might want to label every single feature at other times, you might want to only label certain uh, certain features uh, from that layer, and so you can define a SQL clause to limit the uh, the labels that are going to appear uh, based upon the SQL statement. Now, the other thing you need to, need to be aware of here is that the the default is to pull the text in this case owner name. The default is to pull the text directly from the attribute table and place it for each feature. Um, but there are times when you need something more complex. So there is an expression button here that you can click and that will display the label class pane. And in doing so, it'll make the label expression button active. And this is where you can define additional expressions, more complex expressions. So I might do something like what I'm gonna do here is make a more complex expression to use uh, in my label. Double click on market value. So what this will do is it will, for each of the labels here, it's going to continue to display the owner name, but then it adds this text formatting dot new line, right? That's, a, that's an arcade uh, function that you can call uh, that will automatically add a new line or it inserts a new line character. And then from there, I also want to display market value. So in other words, what I'm doing here is I'm gonna display for each feature in the label, the owner name, followed by a new line character, followed by the market value uh, for each of those polygons. Uh, and this is all part of the arcade programming language. Um, definitely a, a larger topic that we can't cover here, but arcade is a new programming language that comes with ArcGIS Pro uh, that typically acts as, a, as an expression building type language. So it enables you to define custom labeling expressions, custom symbology expressions, 
Uh, you can also use it in the, to develop uh, custom pop-up content as well as the field calculator. And so it's becoming a more and more popular, more and more popular language to use for certain tasks within ArcGIS Pro. It takes about a day or so to learn Arcade. Um, it's a really pretty simple language to, to learn, and so it doesn't take long to, to pick this language up. So definitely worth your time uh, to learn how to, to do a little bit more complex types of uh, tasks in ArcGIS Pro. Uh, nevertheless, once you've got your expression built, then you want to validate it. Once it's valid, you can apply it. And then what we'll see here eventually when it plots out this data, uh, plots out the text here, is going to be uh, the owner name plus a new line plus the market value. So you can see how this has changed. So this allows us to build more dynamic types of expressions for our labels in ArcGIS Pro. There's also a SQL button. Uh, the SQL button also populates, or also is found on the label class pane. What this allows you to do is it allows you to create a new expression that will limit the uh, features that are going to be labeled. So maybe I'll do something like um, market value is greater than or equal to $1 million. So what this is going to do is it's only going to label features where the market value is greater than a $1 million. Right? And so if I click apply here, let's see it's spinning. Now at this point, it's still labeling any features that have a market value greater than a $1 million. But you'll notice some of these other features, lots of these other features, in fact, are no longer being labeled. And that's because they fell below that threshold of a million uh, for, as far as the market value. All right, there's a lot of other things you can do with this label class pane uh, in terms of symbology, positions. Uh, we'll cover these in a, a later demonstration that we do. But for now, I just wanted to show you uh, expressions and uh, these SQL queries and how those can be used. Now, there's other things you can do from this labeling tab. Uh, there's a visibility range. This allows you to uh, set a range for when the labels will appear. So, for example, I might set this to be uh, 1 to 10,000, for example. So, what this will ensure is that, and basically what you're doing here when you're setting this out beyond 1 to 10,000, is that once you go beyond a map scale of 1 to 10,000, or in, in other words, when I zoom out beyond a map scale of 1 to 10,000, those labels will no longer be visible. All right, so at this point, I've gone to 1 to 13,679. You'll notice my labels are no longer present. As long as I'm inside 10,000, though, those labels are going to, are going to, be, are going to appear. All right. And you can do the opposite as well, so in beyond and out beyond. You can set these together to set a range if you need to. All right, under text symbol, this is where you define what the text should look like. And you have lots of options here, right? You can select a predefined um, symbol to use. Uh, from what's uh, provided to you through ArcGIS Pro. These are different styles that you can use. Um, or you can just set a, a specific type of font uh, type, right? And so lots of choices here that you can pick from. You can do regular or bold. Of course, you can set the size of that text a couple of different ways. Uh, you can define the color of the text. So there's a lot you can do with a text symbol. I'm just going to leave things here pretty simple, just pretty basic, and just kind of a blackish color with a... Uh, size of six here, but of course you have lots of different options. And then finally we have label placement, right? Under label placement, this provides us with basic ways of how we want to place those labels within, in this case, the polygons. So in this case, I might want to select land parcel. I think I've already selected this, but yeah, yeah, a little bit different, right? These are just different ways of placing uh, those labels uh, within the polygons. And you'll see as you select these different uh, placement types, it changes uh, how it gets placed uh, within, uh, within the parcel in this case. We'll go back to land parcel. And the other thing I wanted to show you here is that you do also have some of these same options in the list by labeling. Let me make this a little bit bigger. On the list by labeling button in your contents pane, what you're going to get is a list of all the layers in the label classes. And in this case, I just have one layer and one label class. But these checkboxes are essentially the same thing as uh, what we looked at earlier with the, uh, with the toggle button, if enable labeling, as well as uh, label features in this class. So if I turn a checkbox, checkbox off here, you'll notice it also turns the checkbox off up here on the labeling uh, pane. If I click off this checkbox for parcels, that's the same thing as uh, clicking the toggle button uh, in the label, labeling uh, tab. All right, that's it for now. Thanks for